the quality of pediatric nursing care from the children's perspective to continue with our uh, Medicare focus here uh, <laughs> uh, by Nancy Ryan Winger and Bill Gardner. Thank you. Um, we're delighted to be here and um, present some of our research findings to you today. Um, Bill Gardner, who is a psychologist and a biostatistician, is the co-investigator on this study. Um, to put it in perspective, um, the statistics suggest that over 7.6 million children in the United States are hospitalized every year. So um, it's, while it's not as large a population as adults, um, it's pretty significant. And um, also, nearly half of these patients are age six and over. And we think that's relevant because children who are age six and over are fully capable of commenting on their hospital experiences. The reason that uh, we are concerned about why children um, should uh, be able to report their hospitalization experiences are listed up here. Um, certainly they are the consumer, direct consumer of the care, and so their opinions do matter. Um, also their experiences have everything to do with whether they fear health care providers or um, look up to them or appreciate their um, care of them during the hospitalization. And also, um, I don't know about you, but many of us have d determined we wanted to be a nurse after we had a hospitalization experience. And we certainly want to grow more health care providers, so I think influencing the quality of their hospitalizations certainly can't hurt. Um, the need for a study on the quality of pediatric uh, care is underscored by the AHRQ, who called a summit of pediatric experts in quality of care, and they set up four priorities for action. And we believe that our study is a beginning uh, effort to meet the two priorities, which is to conduct research to measure the effectiveness of children's health care and to improve the reliability, validity, and utility of measures of quality of health care. Current uh, patient care or patient satisfaction surveys um, are ubiquitous in the um, hospital environment. Patient satisfaction is considered to be an indicator of quality of care as well as a component of quality care. If it's a component, though, I would ask, and um, that is, if it is a component of quality of care, why do we wait two to four weeks after their discharge to find out how, how well their hospitalization went and how they perceived it? Um, the HCAPS, most of you are familiar with the HCAPS um, survey. Usually the items are embedded in a larger survey where hospitals include other items they're interested in. But um, the HCAPS items are intended to address patient experiences during hospitalization. The issue with the HCAPS questions as well as the, the commonly used press gainy and um, other types of measures is that for in pediatrics, the items are written for the parents. So they're, they're written for four parents and they're expected to be answered by parents. An example I'd like to give you is um, during this hospital stay, how often did nurses listen carefully to you slash your child? So when we get these reports back, it's ambiguous as to whether we're talking about the parents' experiences or the child's experiences. And so the, the value of the responses is somewhat limited by not knowing who's, um, who's not listening to whom, apparently. Um, let's see. 
In fact, on the hospital forms at the top, usually you have to uh, check who is filling out the form. And it starts with parent, guardian, grandparent, and other. And since the child is the patient in a patient satisfaction form, it seems too bad that the patient has to be explained if that's the person who filled out the form. So that's the background for why we are interested in this particular topic. So the purpose of our study long term is that we're hoping to develop a method of continuous evaluation of children's experiences in the hospital and continuous improvement along the way by obtaining information from the children themselves. So in this study, funded by Inquiry and Robert Wood Johnson, we um, aim to learn about from, from the children about their positive and negative experiences with nursing and what they perceive as quality nursing care. And second, to compare children's and parents' perspectives on the quality of their children's hospital experience, partly to support our assumption that uh, parents are not necessarily good proxies for children's experiences. Um, our study design is cross-sectional and descriptive. Uh, we collected data during hospitalization, which is different from um, any other patient satisfaction scale that we're aware of, because we wanted to know from the children what is most salient to them at that moment in time, um, because ultimately, um, recognizing that and changing the care plan in accordance would, would improve quality of care for that child. Not, we wouldn't have to wait until uh, two weeks afterwards. We collected a fair amount of demographic and clinical data. Um, we used an interview guide to um, ask children questions about what they liked and didn't like about nurses and nursing. Um, we also, to put uh, their responses in context, we uh, used two instruments to evaluate their psychosocial status at that time. The pediatric quality of life present functioning scale is a, a very useful scale. It's not quality of life in general, it's quality of life at that point in time, and it's a six item instrument uh, developed by Varney. And we also used the revised children's anxiety and depression scale. Our goal is to uh, obtain 500 uh, children in our sample, and right now we're at 475. And probably w with our six wonderful research assistants, um, by the time we get home, they'll all be <laughs> collected, we hope. Um, this report is on the first 406 that we have data entered. Um, the children are ages 6 to 21 years of age and admitted for uh, one day or more. Um, we excluded siblings of children uh, because we wanted independent samples, and because this occurred over a two-year period, we had to be careful not to interview the same child twice, which we did and found them <laughs> as we cleaned the data. Um, the characteristics of the children are um, almost equal, male and female, so far. Um, we have 20% black and 7% other, most of which are Asian. We have a very hard time identifying who is a Hispanic in our sample, primarily because that's not a um, demographic that's collected by the um, hospital. And although we in interviewed parents and children, um, they did very infrequently checked Hispanic. Okay, we have to hurry. Um, length of stay. Um, we sampled children along the range of one to 336 days. And these are descriptions of the two instruments. In the interest of time, I will skip that. 